If you're thinking about promoting your videos with YouTube ads, then you've come to the right place. YouTube ads or Google ads is a great way to kick up your brand new channel. And I think you all know that regardless of the level of competition on YouTube nowadays, it's very hard to break through if a YouTube channel sits at zero views and zero subscribers. So what is the right way of using YouTube ads if your goal is to get more views and subscribers? And we're gonna do it without breaking the bank. Let's figure it out. Hi, my name is Arthur and welcome to the Movavia vlog. You need to set up your channel first. It is really a necessity unless you want to waste your money. Set up a good looking channel with engaging content or the entire ad campaign will be useless. Firstly, create a good looking banner. It is the first thing that a new viewer notices when he opens up a channel. And the banner that is done right might catch the viewer's attention and might somehow explain whether he should subscribe. You don't have to be a professional graphic designer to make a good looking banner. So check out our video on how to easily create a banner yourself. But a good design is not enough. You also need to add some information on the banner like call to action with the link to your website or social media, or you can add your schedule for example. How often will you post your videos? Every Tuesday and Saturday for example. You can easily add links to your banner. Just go to customization, basic info and just add some links down here. Step number two, add a profile picture. If you already have a logo, add it here or just add a photo of yourself if it's your personal brand. Step number three, add some videos. You should have three videos uploaded to your channel, at least for now. These videos have to be as similar by the topic as possible and as engaging as possible. They also should be as long as possible, but not to the detriment of the video itself. Don't don't make them longer just for the sake of making them longer. The engagement of the video, that's what's important. On average, make them like 7-10 minutes long. But why should you have at least three videos? Because that's the effect we're going for. A viewer comes into one of your videos and then if he likes it, he will check out another video, then another video and so on. So the more videos you have, the better and the more beneficial it is for your channel. You also need to create good thumbnails that really stand out against your competitors. If you want to gain views and promote your channel, thumbnails become one of the most important factors for the success of your YouTube channel. So you have to have high quality thumbnails that are highly clickable and really stand out. Even if you've made the best video in your niche, it will not make any sense if nobody clicks on your videos. I highly recommend you to check out our video on how to create thumbnails because it is very important. On a new channel, your videos will not be recommended by YouTube, at least at the beginning of your journey. The best way to start getting views on a new channel is by using the YouTube search. When viewers click on the search bar, type in what they look for and they find a video they need. Hopefully your video Video. But it's not as simple as it sounds. On a new channel, your video will not appear in the top positions. YouTube will smash it down because of the pressure caused by the high competition. So what are you gonna do then? At first, you should set up your title, your description and your text right. Using the vidIQ plugin or the TubeBuddy plugin, go to the keywords inspector and write down a keyword or a phrase that fits best into your niche or a specific video. Down below, you will see a list of keywords that are similar to the one you typed. Look for keywords that have high volume like thousands or even millions, but only add keywords related to your channel or a specific video. You don't need the rest, even if they have high volume. And also make sure that the competition rate is low or medium because your channel is too small. You can add high competition keywords, but not more than 20% of the entire tax amount on your video. Then add some keywords to the title and to the description a few times, so YouTube will get what your video is about and will target your video to the right audience. Once you've created your channel banner, uploaded the picture profile, uploaded at least three videos, seven, ten minutes long with a good thumbnails, keywords and title, you are ready to set up your ad campaign. Open up the YouTube ads or the Google ads, go to ads.google.com and press on the blue button new campaign. Now I want you to understand the difference between the two types of ad campaigns. The first type is the discovery ads. It promotes your video on the YouTube search results page alongside related videos and on the YouTube mobile homepage. The ad consists of a thumbnail image from the video along with a headline and description. 
and your video is going to be marked with the yellow ad icon. It's important to understand. By that cause, you will get a biased viewer, therefore he will not watch your video for too long and more likely will dislike your video. And you will be left with very low audience retention and unfair feedback from the viewers. Then what's good about this ad campaign? The discovery ads are good only for gaining subs from one video. You should upload one video made specifically for the ad campaign, whereas the video has to catch the viewer's attention from the first seconds. So he watches the entire video and eventually subscribe to your channel. So the goal is to gain subscribers with the promotional video. But still, I don't like this way of promoting a channel because there is a risk of getting the wrong audience that might negatively affect my channel's growth. And the campaign might not pay off at all. The discovery ads are for those who sell something and the goal is to get as many clicks as possible. But in our case, the second type will work much better. Skippable in-stream ads. These are the ads that appear before a video and you pay for it only if a viewer watches at least 30 seconds of the video ad. And if the viewer decided to skip the ad, you don't pay. Therefore, your audience retention will increase on the video you're promoting. So not only you gain more views on a specific video, but you also increase your audience retention. That is why I like using it when it comes to promoting a brand new channel. So click on the blue button new campaign and let's begin setting up this campaign. Please pay very close attention to each step so you won't miss anything important. In the Select the Goals section, click on Create a Campaign without a goals guidance, because the goals are made for sales, not for promoting a channel. Then what I told you, select a video campaign, then we're interested in the custom video campaign. In the description it says, customize your own settings with skippable in-stream ads, exactly what we need. Click Continue, Bid Strategy, Leave As Is, Maximum CPV, Cost Per View, in the Budget and date section write down a total campaign budget. Of course the more the better but today we're gonna play around with five ten dollars. For the start date I will select today and for the end date I want it to run for seven days. Keep in mind that the longer it will run the more views you will get for the same budget. Networks live as is, don't touch it, location select all countries and territories because we need to get as many views as possible. Languages select all languages and inventory type live on standard inventory. Sorry. Write down an ad group name, demographics and audiences, also leave it as is, I will explain why later. The same thing goes for keywords, topics and placements. At the bottom of the page you need to paste a link to a video, so copy your video's link and paste it here. Then a video ad format, we need the skippable in-stream ad. Paste the final URL here, we don't really need the call to action feature and you can change the ad's name if you wish. But what's the point of the ad we've just set up? How do you know if your target audience will see your ad? The point of this ad is not to find your target audience, it's about gaining views and audience retention on the videos. As I said before, this ad campaign will increase your audience retention, whereas audience retention is one of the key indicators that YouTube appreciates. And if you've made an engaging video, you've created a thumbnail that stands out and you've selected the right text, then with the help of this campaign you will boost your video up in search results and you will start getting organic views that matter the most for YouTube. So you need this ad campaign to find the organic views as fast as possible from search results and then from YouTube recommendations. It works if you will correctly apply each point that I've mentioned in the video. And there is the final, the most important step to complete this ad campaign. You will find it on our brand new webpage, just click on the link below. Also on this webpage you'll be able to join the official Movavi community or even get best-selling Movavi products at a 20% discount. Keep in mind that this is more than we usually offer on the channel, so click the link.